Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you can find information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students at Illinois State University, you can um, do so at uh, smarturl.it forward slash help as you actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam FM on financial mathematics. Determine which of the following statements is true with respect to the characteristics of U.S. Treasury bonds. A. When the bond's coupons are indexed to inflation, the security is labeled a nominal return bond, rather than a real return bond. So, we're looking for statements that are true. You should know that when the bond coupons are indexed to inflation, that bond is called a real return bond. So this is not true. A um, is not true. Uh, B. Real return bonds are more commonly issued than nominal return bonds. And the answer is no. Actually, um, the um, nominal return bonds that pay fixed coupons are much more commonly issued um, than uh, real return bonds. C. The yield, yields on nominal return bonds are considered risk-free because the purchasing power generated is known with certainty in advance. No, actually, because of inflation, the purchasing power uh, generated is not known with certainty in advance. So, that's not true. D. The U.S. government is able to assume inflation risk because its tax receipts are directly linked to inflation rates. This may be a slight exaggeration to say that they're directly linked, but economic activity is in some way correlated with inflation. Um, and the reading that you're supposed to read um, for this um, exam, the uh, determinants of interest rates reading, says that actually uh, tax receipts are directly linked to inflation rates. Uh, higher inflation brings um, about higher tax receipts. Lower inflation brings about lower tax receipts. So, U.S. government is able to assume inflation risk. Um, that's what you're supposed to uh, learn from the reading that is required for the test. And D is the answer uh, choice in this. And E, theoretically, Treasury yields can form an inverted yield curve shape, but this phenomenon has not been observed in practice. Well, um, theoretically, they can form an inverted yield curve, and this has happened, although it's not very common, but it has happened, and generally it happens before um, the economy goes into a, a recession. At least it's a signal that there is a problem with the economy, generally speaking. Right now, we have a very strange uh, yield curve. Um, in fact, all of the yields on the yield curve are lower than the Federal Reserve discount rate, which is utterly insane, and that's why I call Mr. Jerome Powell, whom I expected to be more rational than he turned out to be, I call him Jer Jerome Klepka uh, Powell, and uh, maybe he should try being a comedian. That's my point, uh, because of the famous British uh, writer of uh, comedy books, Jerome Klapka Jerome. <clears throat> so, Jerome Klapka Jerome Powell, something is not working. The, all of the yields on the yield curve right now are below the Federal Reserve discount rate. So, here it is again. Uh, A is false, because when bonds, coupons are indexed to inflation, the security is labeled a real return bonds. Answer B, nominal return bonds are more commonly issued than real return bonds. Or B is false. C, the yields on nominal return bonds are not considered risk-free because 
The purchasing power is not known with certainty in advance. C is false. For instance, source D, as stated in the study note on determinants of interest rates, section 5.2, answer choice D is true. The U.S. government is able to assume inflation risk because its tax receipts are directly linked to inflation rates. And for answer choice E, not only theoretically treasury yields can form an inverted yield uh, curve shape, but this phenomenon w has uh, been observed in practice. So E is false. Um, so answer choice D. Please remember this is copyrighted material. Uh, the problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.